good morning dear students this is my new video it's about meiosis reductional cell division so let's see what is so special about this this division is responsible for formation of human male and female gametes mostly in all the animals the gametes are formed by meiosis process the human male gametes are sperms and the human female gametes are oocytes or ovum which contain half number of chromosomes that is only 23 chromosomes are present in ovum or egg cell of human female and only 23 chromosomes are present in human male gamete that is in sperm when these two combine the process of fertilization occur through which a zygote forms having 46 number of chromosomes or 23 pairs then this zygote divides by mitosis further to form embryo and fetus and later take birth as a child now let's see how this process occurs the meiosis occurs in the ovaries of female and in the testes of male of humans in this meiosis same like mitosis there are two main stages of cell division one is karyokinesis that is division of nuclei and second one is separation of cytoplasm by formation of two distinct cells that is cytokinesis so let's see meiosis 1 Meiosis 1 has four phases prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 so let's see in detail about the prophase 1 the prophase 1 of meiosis 1 is divided into five sub phases the first one is leptotin second is zygotin third is pachytin fourth is diplotin and the fifth one is known as dikinesis leptotin phase the nuclear membrane starts to disappear and the chromosomes condense in the zygotin phase formation of bivalent chromosomes start and synapses between homologous chromosomes starts in the pachytin phase the crossing over starts between the sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes then in the diplotin phase chiasma forms that is crossing over starts and reach at its maximum in the dikinesis the dissolution of synaptomal complex is completed and the parts of sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes are totally exchanged as you can see in the color here blue color chromosome sister chromatids have red color patch of the red chromosome while the red color sister chromatids have the part of blue color of sister chromatids of blue chromosome the second phase is metaphase 1 of meiosis in this everything is same just like the metaphase of mitosis means the polar bodies are already formed and which are extending the spindle fibers towards the chromosomes which are aligned at the center of the cell that is equatorial plane these attach with the chromosome center centromeres now the third phase of meiosis 1 starts that is anaphase 1 in anaphase 1 the chromosomes are pulled apart from each other separating the sister chromatids due to the contraction of spindle fibers which are attached at the ends to the polar bodies this contraction separates the chromosomes now the two sets of chromosomes are easily separated on both polar bodies that is 2n at one polar body and 2n at another polar body now the fourth phase of meiosis 1 starts that is telophase 1 in this telophase 1 the karyokinesis is completed that is nuclear division got completed and both the nuclei are having 2n number of chromosomes that is 46 chromosomes at each nuclei but the cytoplasm is still not separated separation of cytoplasm starts by the formation of cleavage furrow at the center of the two cells 
this cleavage furrow will separate the two cells by joining each other. By observing the diagram, you can see that how the meiosis one process completes in the form of chromosomes. Here, the 2N cell has already undergone replication during the interphase before the start of meiosis one, and you can see that the 2N cell is now converted into n number of chromosome having two daughter cells now let's see how the next process of meiosis 2 occurs now as you can see here the prophase 2 of meiosis 2 starts here same things happen that happened in the prophase of general mitotic division now here the chromosomes which are like fibers get condensed to the x shape as you can see here the nuclear membrane starts to disappear just like mitotic prophase and the next phase begins after the appearance of polar bodies which start to form spindle fibers. The second phase of meiosis 2 is metaphase 2. Here the same things happen as that of in the mitotic metaphase. The spindle fibers are attached which are started to grow from polar bodies to the centromere kinetochore points of the chromosomes with sister chromatids and they align at the center. The chromosomes align at the equatorial plane just like metaphase of the mitotic division. Now the metaphase is completed that is metaphase 2 has completed and anaphase 2 has started which is the third phase of meiosis 2. In this the chromosomes with their sister chromatids being pulled apart by the contracting spindle fibers from the polar bodies and these move towards opposite poles leaving the equatorial plane or the center of the cell. After the anaphase 2, the fourth phase of meiosis 2 starts that is telophase 2. Here the karyokinesis of meiotic cycle 2 ends and the cells tie to separate themselves forming the cleavage furrow at the center of the boundary and undergo the cytokinesis that is division of cytoplasm separating the two cells. Now as you can see in the diagram after meiosis 1 meiosis 2 starts and 4 n number of chromosome having nuclei with cells formed.